Hey, Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com. On today's video, I want to share with you some proven psychological tricks that actually get a woman interested in you. And we'll be going over these five today, and you're going to be getting examples of what you can do and how to use these to be able to get girls more interested. Mainly, most of these come from the book called Influence by Robert Cialdini. If you've never heard of that book, I suggest you pick it up because it is a very interesting read and it's going to teach you about some persuasion. So what we've done here is we've taken some of these psychological tricks and now we're applying them to dating. And don't worry, they are completely ethical, but I should warn you that this stuff can be very powerful. So please use it for the good. One concept is the idea of scarcity. So whenever there's something that is scarce, for some reason, psychologically, we are more inclined to want it and want it faster. So you've probably seen places where there's sales where, you know, sale ends in a few days or, you know, there's only five left of whatever you want to buy. When there's scarcity there, we are more likely to jump on it faster. And you can apply the same thing here when you meet a girl. So how you would show this is by not being too available to her. So one example that you can use is whenever you're asking a girl on a date, don't just be available anytime to hang out with her. You should only be available when you're actually available. Don't start moving things around just because she's available to do something. That's one way to apply this. Another way of applying scarcity is not showing too much interest by showing some disinterest. Okay, so an example of this would be teasing her or disqualifying her, basically letting her know in a subtle way that you're not sure yet if you're interested in her. So one thing is teasing. If you call a girl a dork or say something joking around, it's showing that you're not 100% sure if that's someone that you want to be with. That's what she's kind of getting the vibe of because you're doing that tease or the disqualifying. Something else you could say is, you know what, I don't think that this would ever work out between us. I just don't think that this is something that could ever possibly happen, right? So you're saying that kind of as a joke, but in a way you're disqualifying saying, I'm not sure about this and this is making yourself scarce. Let's go to the next one, commitment and consistency. So. This is the principle that if someone commits to something, they will stay consistent because they want to actually commit to the thing that they promised they were going to commit to. There was an actual study done where they had participants wear a cancer badge and the people who ended up wearing the badge were actually likely to donate more, which they ended up doing. So they were showing commitment by wearing the badge and they stayed consistent with that by actually donating more to the cause of cancer. A great way to use this is by asking a girl if she's flaky. So if you ever get a girl's number, you can kind of look at her with a little bit of an eye and say, now you're not a flaky girl, are you? And of course, she's probably going to say no. No girl ever says that they're flaky. So if she says that she's not a flaky girl, and by the way, flaky means that she would actually cancel the date. If she says she's not a flaky girl, it's more likely that she will stay consistent with her words and to her commitment of telling you and showing you that that's not who she is. So you can use that the next time you get a number from a girl so she will stay consistent and then not flake on a date. Another one is verbal confirmation. And this is sort of similar to commitment and consistency, but basically there was a study done where they would call up people to remind them of a blood drive. And after the reminder, they would say to them, and we'll see you there, right? So they were trying to get a verbal confirmation saying, we'll see you there, right? And because they got the verbal confirmation and people would say yes, more attendees ended up going to the blood drive. Pretty crazy. So back to the idea of making sure a girl commits to plans, when you ask her out, maybe you do it in person, maybe you're doing it over text, over the phone, you can say, does that sound good? Or I'll see you there, right? Or I'll see you there at eight o'clock, right? So you're getting that verbal confirmation from her and that verbal confirmation will make it more likely that she will end up on the date. Now, I know some of these things might sound funny, like you have to trick girls to be there. You know, and at the end of the day, hopefully you're just building enough attraction so she's so interested in you that she will show up on the date and she won't flake, but it never hurts to throw in something extra just to make sure. The next one, the fourth one is social proof. Social proof can be very, very powerful. So social proof means that if a girl sees that you are a 
attractive to other girls and other girls are interested in you, that's social proof. That's proof that there's something about you that's very attractive. And this has been something that has been talked about in the dating advice community for many years. So this isn't too new, but it's still a very interesting psychological principle that if a girl sees that you're wanted, it makes you more desirable. So if you're single, one great way to show this is on your Facebook, on your Instagram, you should have pictures with you and some girls, right? It shows that you actually have girls around you and that you are liked and you're wanted, you're desired. Another thing is you can actually go out to bars with girls, right? So make some girlfriends and go out with them. So when you're meeting new girls, right, they get to see, hey, this guy is cool, people like him and also girls like him, right? So that is very powerful. So try to use that if you're ever going out or like I said, in your social media profiles. The next one is authority. And this is something I talk about a lot on this channel, although I don't use the word authority. But basically, when you are looked at as someone with authority, you have a greater influence over others, right? There's something about someone who has that authority, that power where you kind of look up to them. So a way that you can do this when you're dating or when you're meeting girls is by leading, leading the conversation leading her around, taking her around in terms of maybe meet her at a bar, maybe you're on a date and you go to different locations, but basically setting up and leading the entire interaction from beginning to end. When you do that, a girl's gonna be more attracted to you, well, because it's more masculine, it's more dominant, but also because you're showing authority and people like to be led, especially women in these dating situations. Now, once you get some numbers from girls and some of these cool psychological principles actually work out, you're probably gonna be texting them to meet up. Well, I have something for you that's free. It's called seven deadly text messages that she can't resist. That's right, seven text messages that you can just copy and paste and use whenever you meet a girl. And that is completely free in a video which you can get below the screen in the description. Just click on that link and I'm gonna be sending you, again, for free, my seven deadly text messages that she can't resist. And what's so cool about this is I'm giving you text messages for every situation, right? Whether you wanna meet up with her for a date, whether you want to get her to meet up with you after she flakes, right? All these different situations for you to be able to text her copy and paste messages. So check that out below in the description. Thanks for watching. Write a comment below if this is something that has been interesting to you or something you think you're gonna use. I wanna hear if you're gonna use these the next time that you're talking to girls. So write a comment, get seven deadly text messages, and I'll see you on the next video.